So we decided to simplify by automatically removing apps in the list that you haven't used in a while. This then makes it much easier to find the app that you're looking for. Also, based on popular demand, we finally added a clear all button at the top. Yeah, feels good. <laughs> but my absolute favorite feature is something that we call Quick Switch. You can now flip to the previous app you're in just by double tapping the Recents button from anywhere. You can think of it like a simplified Alt tab. And it's amazingly useful in so many situations. For example, let's say I'm in a phone call and I'm trying to coordinate an event. I can flip over to the calendar app I was just in by double tapping the Recents button at the bottom right. From there, I can check my schedule and then flip back to the dialer by double tapping the Recents button again. It's pretty cool. Now, many of you have also asked for the ability to display more than one app at the same time. So we've invested a lot of effort in redesigning our window management framework in N. And we're introducing two powerful new windowing modes in this release, split screen and picture in picture. Split screen is designed for tablets and phones. And it's really simple to use. So for example, let's say I'm watching a video on YouTube to learn how to make the best nachos. I can long tap on the Recents button to enter multi-window, and from there launch something like Google Keep, for example. Now I can update my shopping list for ingredients while I'm watching the video. The second mode, Picture in Picture, is designed for Android TV. And it's a great way to let you keep watching something while you perform another task. For example, let's say I'm watching a live TV program on retro gaming, and they're talking about Pac-Man, and I want to see if I can install and play the game myself. I can put the live content into picture-in-picture -picture mode to keep watching it, and then go ahead and perform a voice search for Pac-Man. This will then give me an option to install the game from the Play Store, all at the same time as watching the content. It's pretty cool.